Get your sewing machines out because today we're meeting a fashion designer. Almost done. An eye for style is what fashion designer Charlene Parson was born with. So what made you decide to get into this field? Well, <laughs> I guess everything just kind of falls to you. Obviously, I've been in the fashion business for a long, long time. Fashion designers sketch designs, select colors and fabrics, study fashion trends, and oversee the final production of their designs. You better believe, you better know <laughs> the technique of putting you know, that sleeve together or that unusual touch together because you will. And if that person you've just hired isn't doing it correctly, um, guess what? You're gonna be the one that sits down and says, no, this is the way I need it done. As a fashion designer, you may find yourself working long hours in the studio, sorting through fabrics and sketching out designs. It's still very important that a student today knows how to um, sketch by hand, knows how to do colors by hand, sketch the figure by hand, and learn to do that in a very fast way. In order to put your foot to the pedal of your sewing machine, you'll need to acquire a bachelor's degree in either fine arts or an associate's degree in fashion design, as well as getting experience in the field. That they are able to work, let's say, backstage, that they get involved with the trade shows, that they get involved with the retail industry, that they get involved with um, market weeks, extremely big market weeks, um, so that not only are they seeing what happens, okay, but that they have these names, that they have the people. As a fashion designer, you can specialize in a number of different areas. The biggest, which is, I, I would assume we would say women's wear, men's wear, children's wear. Um, then we go into all the specialty areas, the whole bridal market, and bridal is very big. And let's not forget the accessories. Designers of handbags, of belts, um, of shoes, hats, you know, so it's huge. Yeah. I mean, it's absolutely huge. The job outlook for a fashion designer is a lot harder than other fields, but the need for styling clothing that is affordable is increasing. They can do additional lines, meaning they can do a line that is a little more, let's say, inexpensive than their first line, which even major, major designers are doing today, they're all doing secondary lines. You might find yourself walking the runway to riches, but this all depends on how hard you are willing to work. Depends on the city you're in, um, the type of collection you have, probably, uh, what, the 30s um, and up. A strong eye for color, detail, and proportion are a must as a fashion designer. We have to have the talent, um, you have to have a drive, um, you have to have the patience. My piece is complete and so is this video. I'm Nicole Aaron for University TV. See you later.